Franklin, I'm Caitlin, and welcome back to a brand new year. It's 2015 and we have a lot coming your way. And I'm Brianna. Franklin teachers are always looking for ways to connect our learning to the real world and to bring our community into our school. Today we will show you how the UWM Film School, the U.S. Army, the Police Department, and a local author who recently made those connections. We're here in the auto shop where recently students were in for a treat when the Army personnel brought down the Humvee for students to explore. This year, the Army came to FHS to give a presentation to the auto students. They gave a tour of a Humvee, and students were even allowed to go inside the vehicle. Well, we brought the vehicle here to the school today just to uh, give the students you know, an idea of what the kind of equipment we use and um, the steps we take to make sure they're good to go before we go out on missions and stuff like that, and also give them a little bit of information about the Army and the Army Reserve. Next, men let the students push the vehicle out of and back in the auto's garage. They then gave a PowerPoint presentation on the four requirements to get into the Army. It clears out a lot of misconceptions about the Army as far as how easy it is to get in. It's a little bit tougher than most people think. Overall, many students found the presentation educational and very enjoyable. We gotta go! We gotta go! If you want information on the Army and opportunities they offer, check out the table during lunch. This year, the support's closer to home with a new addition to our school. FHS administration has decided to bring back a school resource officer, Franklin Police Officer Pep Rocky. Well, over the summer, uh, our department posted a uh, job opening for a school resource officer at Franklin High School and Forest Park Middle School. It's a position that had been filled from about... 1994 to 2009. The position had recently fallen due to budget cuts, but has now been reinstated this school year. Well, I really enjoy the interaction with the staff uh, as well as the kids, uh, the variety of uh, different uh, type of calls that I get to deal with, and you know, pretty much the uh, feeling that uh, I'm doing something to make a difference. Make sure to give a warm welcome to Officer Pep Rocky. A special guest and Franklin alumni recently came into Mrs. Doucette's independent reading class. Former student Megan Slayanoff came to speak to Mrs. Doucette's independent reading class about her recently published book. Uh, her book is called 99 Problems But a Baby Ain't One and it is the story of her diagnosis of ovarian cancer um, and her treatment and beating ovarian cancer twice and uh, going on to adopt her daughter Macy. Megan's book is about being a cancer survivor, going through the adoption process, and her love for Jay-Z. She talked to them about the publishing process, um, so how to go about getting your work published. Um, she also talked to them about the blog that she writes. Um, she talked to them a little bit about her time here in Franklin, about her life now as a writer. She came to my independent reading class, um, so that is a class where they are able to choose whatever books they like, um, and they are able to read those. So we read some chapters from her book so they could get acquainted with her, um, and then she she came in to speak to them. Megan shared her experiences and hopefully inspired the students to work hard and pursue their dreams. Megan is an inspiration for all students who are working to achieve their goals. Make sure you check out her recently published book. Believe it or not, in our own backyard we have a world-ranked film school at UW-Milwaukee. Professors from the program recently met with the students of the Saber Roar. The UWM Film School ranks in the top 20 film schools in the world. Recently, professors Jeff Kurz and Erica Frederick came to talk and inspire students thinking of entering the film industry. My best advice is to only do stuff that you love. Be passionate about it. If you want to make a career in film, believe in it and go make it happen. Franklin has a film program with impressive technology, a state-of-the-art studio, award-winning student videos, and a teacher with professional experience, making it well-known throughout the local community of film. She speaks so highly of your program. She's so well thought of in the community, has engaged and worked with collaborative cinema before. We were looking forward to coming to Franklin. We've heard a lot about it. The professors were impressed with students' work and gave them ideas and motivation to continue to work hard on making and editing films. Students from our school attend UWM and other notable film schools around the U.S. and continue on to work in film or TV. So look for your classmates' names in the credits in the next couple of years. It's time to announce the uproars, the first ones of the new year. 
I nominated Annabelle for the uproar because I was really impressed with how well she worked on a really tough assignment. Once she finished, she actually took the time to help other students that were struggling and sat down and, and kind of taught them herself. And it was really impressive to see and really appreciated her extra effort in class. I nominate Emilyan Gajic for a Saber Uproar uh, Student of the Month because he knocked it out of the park in our last debate in our class. He always has a positive attitude and is willing to participate. Good job, Emilyan and Annabelle. Thank you for being role models in our school. Well, that's all we have today on the Saber Roar. Thanks to Mr. Bondar for letting us film here today. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Brianna. All kinds of cool things happen here in the auto shop, and you can't miss Mr. Bondar, who is 6'8". I'm sure there's more coming to you in 2015. Have a great Tuesday, everybody.